Yo guys, Ninja Mushroom here, getting ready to tell you some tips and ways on how to improve your aim on the ever-growing game Player Unknown's Battleground. And I know a lot of people out there have been asking this because this game is not kill after kill, so it is a lot harder to improve your aim compared to other games. I'll explain why very shortly. But first off, tip number one will be your sensitivity. I know a lot of people out there that are rocking some crazy ass sensitivity run around with like 3500 dpi or more and before i start a massive argument sensitivity is a personal preference and i understand that but what i'm telling you is the best way to be cons consistent with your aim aim is about muscle memory getting your muscles in your hand wrist and arm to memorize the movement of your mouse's sensitivity so if you're one of these people who are struggling with your aim on pubg the first thing I would advise is to try and lower your sensitivity to about 400 to 800 dpi. And I know a lot of you out there are going to be like, whoa, but hear me out, if your aim is all about muscle memory, then having your mouse move at a really fast pace does not give your muscles enough time to memorize the movement from going from point A to point B. So you slow that movement down. So your muscles memorize that movement a lot easier and your aim will get better a lot faster. My main way of telling if my sensitivity is right on a game is that I can do a full 180 degree spin using almost all of my mouse map. Going from left to right or the other way around, right to left. Because you're not going for them 360 quick scope headshot triple kills. That is not a consistent way of being good with your aim. Most pro players of many games use this DPI, mainly for first person shooters. From Counter Strike to Quake, this DPI is used. And that is my tip number one. Tip number two will be again to all you new players out there. And this tip will go against my next tip, but hear me out. If you're new to PUBG, you probably haven't got used to the main weapons in the game. So I advise to drop into a less populated area so you can run round. Find them AKs, M4s, M16s, SCARs without getting shot in the face and just simply try them out. Try shooting at three or four separate points in the area you're in, like a car headlight to the corner of a building to a tree and make sure it's spread out and it's not really close together. Try to make it as realistic as you can and just get used to the recoil of the guns and your sensitivity. Now, tip number three, once you're used to the guns and have a bit of confidence in your aim, drop into the most heavily populated areas you know, like Pachinki, military base, shooting range, school, anywhere where there's a high player count, because your aim is not going to get better looting buildings and killing the odd person here and there. Again, this is about improvement of your aim, not winning chicken dinners. If you're just waiting till the top 10 with maybe two kills or less, your aim is not going to get better and your advantage over other players will be a lot less. If you're still struggling with this tip, I would advise joining a squad server, but only using yourself. It might sound silly one person going against four, but you'll have a lot more chance of running into high amounts of players and that is where your practice will come in. Or even another game like Counter-Strike or Quake, using the same sensitivity because you're killing a lot more people using the same muscles with the same sensitivity. Tip number four was play the game. This may seem obvious, but you have to put the time in to get the result you want. Do you think that people were just born with godlike aim? No, they played the game for countless hours to perfect their playstyle and aim. One example is Shroud, probably the biggest PUBG player out there at the moment. He was not born with demigod aim. He practiced like fuck playing years of Counter-Strike and has transferred that aim over to PUBG. And now he has countless hours on PUBG and that's, that's just why he's so good. And that is the best advice I can give you after all of the tips to just play the game for at least one or two hours every day and I guarantee your aim will improve. Really, this is the biggest tip I can give you. Thank you for listening guys. I hope these tips helped you out. I'm sure you will see an improvement in no time at all. And if you like this video, please subscribe. It will help you out massively. Follow me on Twitter for the latest news on my channel. And thanks again. And as always, have a good one, guys. Peace.